Now let's dive into the world of minors. Well, we all love to be and stay as children. But Indian Contract Act does not like children. As minors are one of the three persons who cannot enter into a contract and any contract with a minor is we know void ab initio that is void from the very beginning. But with the consent of all the partners, a minor may be admitted to the benefits of the firm. This is based on the rule that a minor cannot be a promiser but can be a promisee or a beneficiary. Well, this leads us to one more important conclusion that even a group of minors cannot form a partnership among themselves. Now broadly, the position of a minor partner may be studied under the following two heads. His rights and liabilities before he attains majority and his rights and liabilities after he attains majority. So let's look at his rights before he attains majority. He has the right to such share of profits and property as promised to him. So if ABC start a partnership and they agree to admit D as a minor partner in the firm with a condition to pay him one fourth share of profits, then they have to pay him one fourth share. If the partners don't give him one fourth share, then D has the right to sue the other partners for recovery. Second, he has the right to access and inspect and copy any of the accounts of the firm. Now let's look at the liabilities of a minor before he attains majority. Well, a minor's liability is only confined up to his share of profits and property. So suppose if the firm in which the minor is a partner goes insolvent, then all the other major partners will have unlimited liability but a minor will have only limited liability and that too up to his share of partnership property. So suppose A, B, C and D are a firm of partners with D as the minor partner and he has the rights of one fourth towards the property and the profits. Now the firm did not do good business and so it had to dissolve. The total assets at dissolution were worth 4 lakh and the total liability at dissolution was 6 lakhs. So out of this 4 lakh rupees of asset, one fourth belonged to D, the minor partner, which is 1 lakh. So a minor would be liable for such 1 lakh out of the complete debt of 6 lakhs. Now let's look at the other partners. First, they will utilize this 4 lakh to pay. Then the remaining 2 lakh, only A, B and C will be personally liable. D will not be personally liable as D is the minor, right? And a minor will not be liable for more than his share of profits in the partnership or for more than his share of the property in the partnership. So now let's look at his rights and liabilities after he attains majority. So on attaining majority, a minor partner has to decide within six months whether he shall continue in the firm or leave it. Whatever he decides, he needs to give a public notice. So whether he decides to become a partner or not to become a partner, he needs to give a public notice. If he fails to give the public notice, then he is deemed to have become a partner in the firm on the end of six months from attaining the majority. Well, if he elects to become a partner, then he would become personally liable to third parties for all the acts done by the firm since he was admitted to the benefits of the firm. So this is very important. He would become personally liable for all the acts not just done after his attaining majority but for all the acts since he was minor and admitted for the benefits into partnership. Now what about his share of profit? Well, they would continue to be in the same as they were at the time when he was a minor unless all the partners agreed on to a different ratio. If he does not elect to be a partner, then he needs to give a public notice of such decision 
as if he does not give the public notice he would be considered as a partner and would be liable for all the debts of the firm since his admission for the benefits so to avoid that kind of a situation he needs to give a public notice that hey once i am becoming a major i do not want to join this firm and by this mechanism he will not be liable for any debts of the firm